Hello and welcome. Uh, my name is Jo Dobson and I'll be presenting the annual review for the Australian Trout Foundation tonight on behalf of our President, Mr Terry George. You'll no doubt be uh, familiar with Terry if you've attended previous Fork Wild Trout conferences. Uh, this year being online, our format's a little different. So uh, with that in mind, I think what we'll do is, is introduce who the Australian Trout Foundation are uh, before we launch into what we've been doing this year. So the Australian Trout Foundation is the only independent non-profit organisation in Australia that is specifically dedicated to protecting and improving Australia's trout fishery, thus ensuring that all Australians can enjoy trout fishing now and in future generations to come. We represent all trout fishers uh, and we're funded by annual membership fees from our passionate supporters and Im importantly, grants from the Victorian Fisheries Authority. The ATF is an environmental conservation group and our focus is on improving waterways and their environs which benefit our trout populations. And to do this, we draw on volunteers and we, we, we make partnerships with many and varied groups. The vision and the mission of the ATF uh, are listed here and, and are quite clear. Our strategy constantly in attempting refers to, to this uh, pull and together our way the forward activities that we actually have planned throughout 2020, based upon it, our vision it, some and of our the mission, conclusions are surprising. And based upon the One would think that plans uh, previously of the 2018 conditions and, uh, and COVID things and now with may have come version, to a grinding halt. Well, trout strategy and 2020 although we had to cancel two of our larger projects uh, involving the planting of over 5,000 native trees throughout May and June, we did manage to uh, get some contractors to complete some of that work and those projects uh, were able to be delivered. So what we've ascertained is that uh, through our members and volunteers and committee, we've contributed over 5,000 hours of uh, in-kind work to habitat restoration and regeneration throughout this year alone. Uh, and currently we have around 80 habitat and access enhancement projects uh, for consideration as a result of work for 2020, uh, so uh, basically uh, difficult over the next 17 stopping release is going to in be our uh, very country area at a time of very or rather when we need to be pushed by a recovery and that's just since trial uh, February. Was so due, apart from uh, assisting the stopping of native fish in agencies and people uh, coming we've together, we've also had significant um, stoppings of trout. Get these um, so the trout or over that have been stopped in grow Lake Yeldon. Grow them out and then to stop them into an aerial creek. Lake so Sodium due to with 10,000 um, COVID and restrictions, it was necessary uh, Lake to Buffalo with five have the collecting on our uh, summary of activities were actually the major river stocking trials. Um, uh, in well, we actually managed to engage in the Mackellar River. river. Uh, Quite a few of our outlets. Uh, so they were shifted the Jindabyne to the Yildon. They both and then after a series of connected transport stations, those major achievements management also was applied. And being uh, successful in receiving Arthur the state a large the grant from, from the South Wales and the Victorian Fishery Authority, branch of the Fishing Alliance, and since we land in our own friends and family, this, this money will allow the Moyan Aces to complete the project in Australia to manage these rex fishing and maintain the project as a goal in our own recreative strategy and training. And of course, membership fees in 2020 was so great problematic for us. And although we did have to come to a couple of years ago, we had a members of our um together with the CB, so Habitat Restoration, uh, we also investigated, investigated the uh, uh, and, well, and, and the responsibility of the waterfront stream protection advisory. Um, um, and we're not doing any of the surveys on that yet. We developed some of the rules that enable us to have a whole group of operations and then we continue. We also did control and stocking. 
Yeah. And stocking yeah. trials CMAs, yeah. and of course and we continue to develop. Oh, this was done in conjunction with land partnerships for volunteers and this will to allow for encourage far better angler access and people and to data, jump on board outcome with the ACF. So here are some of the look, pictures of last up, year's volunteers uh, to our website and have a look and, for our, uh, uh, in action and in some of the areas that, that they've worked And how you can in. directly help us is to follow us on Instagram and Facebook and to consider joining the uh, the ATF. It's a fairly nominal fee, but I think we'd all agree that the work that's achieved uh, with our partners will we'll see our trout fishery and our habitat uh, just going ahead in leaps and bounds in years to come. So thanks. Thanks for watching uh, and enjoy the rest of the conference.